What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Throne of the Train draft. In the last video, we played a deck that was so good that I was hyperventilating half the time I was playing it. So please go check that out. <laughs> so good. Um, and again, we're probably gonna end up green. Don't yell at me guys, just look at the cards, right? Um, I don't think this is good enough. It might be, but if I'm already white, I would pick it, but it won't be first pick for me. Um, yell at me if you want. Um, Spectre Shriek. Meh. It's just, you need three white sources before you can even do anything with it in five lands. And in limited, in my experience, in a format with no dual lands, uh, I rarely ever have both night colored sources, let alone three of one by the time I five. Anyway, bad. Uh, this card's good. Death Touch, even if you're playing it for four, two, three Death Touch that draws you cards is so good. If you can clear path for it, even just a couple times. This is like the second closest one I want to pick, but A, it's two colors, and B, this deck just doesn't come together a lot. Um, maybe if I first pick it, it will, but like I kind of just want to play it safe. Once I get better at draft, I'll branch them out more into just picking stuff like this just for fun. But um, just trying to, you know, get the fundamentals down. Trepted Tower's okay, not great in this format. Secret Keeper's good. I don't think I first pick it anymore, though. None of these are fantastic. He's okay. And that's pretty good. But again, I'll pick this over it any day. Well, don't I feel like a wet willy. Okay, well in that case... What did they pick over this? This is the rare. Interesting. Uh, in that case, I think I'm, I'll, I'll take it. I'll feel bad. Maybe we can wheel the other one. Fierce Witch Stalker is really good with OK My Adversary. Covetous Urge is really good if it's in the Improbable Alliance deck. And I can play it if we go black green, which we know I always go for anyway. So in that case, I think I take Covetous Urge here. It'll go in either deck. Maybe he go Teamer, who knows. Reeve Soul is quite good. Thrill of Possibilities is good with Improbable Alliance. But, I mean, I gotta go with Reeve Soul here. Also go with some Covetous Urge decks. Forever Young's good. Searing Barrage is quite good. Maybe it can end up Grixis. That's a thing that could happen. Um, so yeah, I think it takes Searing Barrage here. A lot of Spectre Shrieks in this first pack. Paladin, Wolverine, Sporecap Spider, Gingerbrute, Golden Egg. Golden Egg's good with Alliance and helps me play whatever color pair I'm playing. I will take the Egg. Wow, green dried up pretty quick. And the best card out of this pack, I think, is Unexplained Vision. Um, yeah, best card of here is Witching Well. Oh, we didn't wheel it. No. Rude. Um, am I, like, committed to blue here? I had a lot of blue playables. Those aren't worth... Yeah. Well, don't I feel like a dumb? I think it's the right thing in principle, though, but wow. Um, do I get this over Corridor Monitor? It's so win more, but with Improbable Alliance, it's pretty good. Hmm. Maybe if I end up Teamer. Take that over a Corridor Monitor. Uh, Ginger Brute is also good with it. Gargoyles, meh. This is a good card. This is a decent card. This is a pretty good card. This is good in my deck. Oh man, can I splash a double green card? It's so good though. Like, it's so good. Will I really miss Thrill Possibility? I don't think so. I think just on the off chance that I can turn it around and get green in here, I take it. Um, if I'm playing it the hard way, I'd probably just take a Reef Soul and lean into Grixis. But again, black hasn't been super prevalent either. And the blue cards aren't amazing, so I'm really only giving up Thrill Possibility. I think it's worth it. Run away together like the Twinvel Tree Folk. Mad Ratter. That card's very good. 
Um, Thunder Snapper. I know I have three cards that trigger it. That's interesting. Another Golden Egg. Do I just splash this off of multiple Golden Eggs? <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? Snapper is a pretty interesting card. He also costs four mana. And it could go blue green. Frosty is also good with Mad Ratter. It's interesting. It's only when they're attacking though, so that might not be worth it. Do I really just take an egg here? I think so. Because if I'm not playing Great Henge, this guy is just not that good. 4 mana 4-4. Four, four. That's hard to cast. So I think I take the egg. Play it safe. Okay. Could have had 3 improbable alliances. Feels bad, but I'm, I'm going to correct now. We're, we're back in it, guys. Thrill of possibility over these guys? I think so. Can't believe I opened a great henge and I'm not playing it. <laughs> Scavengers is pretty good. Another Scavengers, Wicked Guardians, nah. I don't think I'm playing black either. Oh, that hurts my soul. Ginger Brew, why did I pick him that he was good? Frosty, right. Uh, read the back red cap the card, I guess. Probably just take another Scavengers. Raging red cap over Emberth Paladin, yep. Yikes. I keep on thinking, there's so many Spectre Shrieks, bro. Wolverine? Sure. Claim the Firstborn's meh. I guess. Trebuchet is decent. Don't really have a lot of knights, but... Doom foretold? <laughs> I can't splash two colors. Man. Arcanist Owl is quite good though. Opt in Thrill to bring around two. Okay. Artifact or Enchantment, yep. Um, yeah, he seems like an easy pick here. Doom foretold, man. What a weird, what a weird draft. Uh, I think I actually will play Reefs off the Splash from Golden Egg, probably. Just have one Swamp. I don't know how worth it that is, but, oh. This reminds me of the deck I played last video. Mm, nothing really great here for me. Probably just Merchant. Merchant's pretty good. Didn't say please is a thing. Castle Embrith, Memory Theft, Flood Fox, Fairy Vandal. Let's go. Another Covetous Urge. Sure, bro. I'll take it. Witching Well seems better than almost anything else. I don't think I'll play Ginger Brute in this deck. Shouldn't play Frosty of the Wilds. This seems bad. Red Cat might get the cut too. I think I'm just gonna go super controlling. Cause my long game is crazy. Uh, but another Witching Well seems better than Mystic Sanctuary. I was thinking if I didn't have enough cuts, but I'll probably cut like a Bird Folk or something. In this case though, is Merfolk better than Red Cap? I think so. One Trebuchet might be good for a long game. I don't know. The thing is, I have to draw Mad Ratter or Alliance to even like have a chance with this deck. I don't think it's worth it for the. But if I'm not playing anything else anyway, Cauldron's good because I don't have a ton of removal. I have one Reef Soul I'm splashing, and a Searing Barrage. I don't have no red removal. But I think I play Corridor Monitor over Merfolk. I can block more effectively. Yeah, just take the mine. I don't think I'd play the Merfolk. Opt, run away together, Thrill of Possibility. What's better here? Thrill lets me trigger in their turn. The Opt is just so efficient. What would I cut? Wolverine? <coughs> Probably 
high not cauldron. I feel like I need that amount of removal. Run away together. What does that give me back? Merchant. It protects Mad Ratter, I guess. It's not great. Uh, I feel like this is, should be an easy pick. Probably just take the Opt. Cheaper. I already have a Thrill. At this point, I think I'd take Mystic Sanctuary. Won't play either of those. Although, over Merfolk, I might take the Monitor. <coughs> hmm. Or over Wolverine. I could probably go down to... Well, that's 24 cards, yeah. So I have another playable. I kind of want Mystic Sanctuary. I'd play that and cut Dwarven Mine, honestly. Another Opter Scavengers. I think I just have more digging. Thrill of Possibility, though. Dang, son. Can you take the Opt? Joust. Two mana fight, sorcery speed. I don't have good fight targets. So maybe I should take the big wall. Probably won't play him anyway. Player House Stone's bad, so I take Bolt Progress. How much does it give me? 107.7. Oh, it does it all at once, that's right. Hinge Walker. Who would have thought? This is a weird deck. Sorry, guys. But I did get 40 gems from that Henge. Uh, this triggered off of token creatures, we would just end up decking ourselves. So it has reach. I feel like that's almost enough on its own to play it. Over a Henge Walker. Let me know, guys. Definitely not playing three swamps. I'll go down to one. Three sources for a Reef Soul. That's greedy, isn't it? I don't need Dwarven Mine. It's not that important. Mountain... How many lands do I have now? 15. Go to 16. Whoops. Eight blue sources, one swamp, seven red sources. Is that worth it? <laughs> really, it messes up Mystic Sanctuary. And the swamp works with Covetous Urge. Not Arcanist Owl, though. It's going to be a hard one to cast. <sighs> Is that too greedy? I think so. I think it's too greedy. Nine blue sources, seven red. Seems about right, especially with these two spells. I could play Hengewalker. Or Wolverine. Hengewalker seems probably better. Three mana, three, three. All right, guys. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do I call this deck? <laughs> I don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Sketchy, there we go. Sketchy Alliance, you get it? Here's 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 how much of a stretch that is, right? Because you're drawing two, it's a draw deck. You win by drawing, and sketching is a form of drawing. And yeah, there you go. Um, let's get full art lands. I'm not a pleb, guys. Come on. Eight islands. There was one time where I didn't realize that it just added new ones and didn't replace them. <clears throat> and uh, I almost queued in with an extra 15 lands in my deck. <laughs> that was scary. Thankfully it wasn't one of those times where I got in with like one second after queuing. This is a great hand. I will keep this all day. On the draw is a little meh. But it's more likely to draw a land, I guess. No one drop. No one drop. Uh, I'm fine with that one drop. As long as there's no way to remove my improbable alliance. Yeah, I'm fine with both of those. Cool. Cool. 
Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Shepherd of the flock. Yikes. At least I'll have good blockers for him. He's in white, so he could have last kiss or whatever, which would be terrible for us. But we'll just pretend that's not happening. Tome Raider. Cool. Don't have to worry about it. Didn't say please. It's exciting. It's a lot of damage. Let's go blue, blue. No. No, no, no. Blue. Witching well. There we go. That was almost a terrible mistake. Get rid of an island, keep it opt. Golden egg. Let's giggity go, son. So next turn I'll probably go hinge walker, opt, second egg for adamant. That'd be brutal. Guess it depends on what they <gasps> We're so screwed. Okay, change of plan. Uh, we opt to sack the egg for life. Merchant. Okay, that's pretty good too. I'll keep that. That way next turn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Do I gain three life or play hinge walker with adamant? I feel like three life is more important. No, it's not. One man of any color. I go blue. No! Tap this for red. Blue. Thank you. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So now even if he has a removal spell for something, I can still kill that Shepherd of the Flock. I can deal with two damage a turn, probably. We'll see. Yikes. Well, there you go. That's why I did it. And next turn I can make two more 1-1s one because I can Merchant and then next turn Witching Well on their turn. Ooh, don't know if I want to Merchant that away. Is that even like amazing right now? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just sacrifice Witching Well then. It's an instant. Cool. If plays all that glitters or something, we'll be in business. Paladin, we found our target, boys. Doesn't have Adamant. Interesting. So, I want to hit a land drop, so I'll just do this this turn, actually. There he is. No blocks. Go to six. It's a little scary. Brimstone Trebuchet is pretty good here too. In that case, Trebuchet, Fairy Vandal, Merchant, Discard Moonlit Scavengers. Is that good enough for me? Yeah, I think so. Fairy Vandal. Sick. <laughs> yeah, just more of the same. Cool. All right, we might finally be stabilizing, as long as he doesn't have anything crazy. And to a pumpkin could do some damage. Ooh. Hello. Combo. Still not gonna be good enough. I can still chump block, and I can bounce him or kill him. Cool. Hello. If only had a way to proc you right now. Um. Do I just play scavengers and bounce him? I think so. Then I have a good attacker next turn. He taps out for him. Yeah. He does get adamant, but whatever. This way I'm hoping next turn he tries to equip this and then I just hearing barrage in response. Just 
Just don't have a way to draw another card. Thank you. Got him. 20 turn clock, guys. Um, let's play Mountain. Three, four, five, six. Eventually, I can Mad Ratter and Witching Wall on the same turn. I was debating whether or not a Merchant would be a thing. Doesn't seem like it. Guess I'll pass. If you guys didn't say please, that would be kind of brutal here. But yeah, we have these two win cons. Let's go. It just has like two Merfolk Secret Keepers. I'm so dead. <laughs> it's a little scary. Yep. Six mana. Just enough to equip and bounce. I guess this gives him six toughness, so I'd chump block and then kill him if I want to do that. Because plus two plus oh. Yikes. So, which one do I kill? Wow. I was going to say. Um. In this case. He has one mana up, so now I can just block like this and kill it. Right? Am I missing anything? Cool. And then now Searing Barrage deals with the Griffin. Cool. Seems good. Um, let's play Blue. Let's play Merchant. You know, I'll just see Barrage now. Might leave it up to chance. Cool. Did I forget to ping him last turn? I don't think so. I don't know. If I do, I'm sorry. If I did, I'm sorry. He's drawing a lot of lands now. Six, seven. What you got? Whoa. Oh, that sucks. That super sucks. Because now the provisions combo so well with that. Holy cow. Uh, I make a 3-3 every turn, though. So that might be kind of a problem for him. I can do both of these? Yeah. Sick. Uh, he could just have lethal in the air, which is scary. But I make dudes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So, play him. I don't know why I tapped on my blue mana, but whatever. Oh, that's lame. Stupid auto-tap. He's got all three fours though. That's a Tome Raider, sure. Who would have thought Fortifying Provisions would break the back of so many of my decks? <laughs> you know? But I'll almost certainly have Lethal on Crack back, I would think. Cauldron. Coast Urge is bad at this point, so I can loot that. Yeah, it seems like the play. So I think I almost just want to keep him alive. Like, that seems better for me at this point. Right? So I just make sure I don't die. I'm at six. Yikes. So I guess one of you can't double block. Well, no, you can double block one of the rats. Oh, yeah, and I block like that. How much damage do I, do I get to attack back with, though? If this board doesn't have the Archon, it's much better for me. So in that case, 
Block there. Take three there. He's blocked by those two. He's blocked there. He's chumped there. He's double blocked there. He's chumped there. There's a lot of flyers, and I go to three. I'm just thinking, how can I tag back for lethal? I don't know. I'll just win if we get back to parity, though. Does he ever run away together? That'd be rough. Plus, he also has a food to sack. Yeah, I don't know how I could have gotten lethal from there. Wow. Plus, I'm going to get a ton of triggers. <laughs> Hello. Just make sure I don't duck myself. Let's play a cauldron. And an owl, I guess. Man, why I tap like that? Um So I'll definitely attack with the five six. Okay. Cool. So now I have removal, a way to gain life, and a way to make another blocker. Sure. If he equips the mantle to the path lighter, and then I have to kill it. So one plus two. Sure. I go one. Gain three. What's your last card? Is it Runaway Together? Fairy Guide Mother. Just plays it as a 1 1. Makes sense. Should have killed you in response, but okay. Hmm. Let's throw a possibility first. Covetous Urge isn't going to do anything. Wait, I can do it from the graveyard? Sorry, guys. So sorry. I would say new cards, but there's just no excuse. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what was in his yard? Let me see the battlefield. Isn't there a way to do that? No! Oh, well. Let's just hope that that's not something that's going to bite me later. All right. Uh, Covetous Surge is a ways away, but Fairy Vandal and Opt is really all I need to want to play a hand. Let's go, boy. Blue, pass the turn. Make you think about counter spells or something, I don't know. Does he have... Okay. I want to Opt, hit a blue source or something. Gosh, you're so good. Yeah, yeah. He's too good to pass up. I'm gonna hate myself for it later. But if I draw an egg or like a like a an egg or a thrill of possibility or another opt or a witching well, sick. Didn't need it anyway. Uh, he totally has a counter spell, right? Let's test it. Yep. Didn't say please. Got him. My witching. Oh my gosh. What the heck was that? <laughs> Come on, man. All right, draw me two blue sources. I want to cover the urge this boy. Is he really mono blue? Queen of Ice, sure. Monitor. Oh, okay. Well, that's rude. It's a setup. 
Is he mono blue, you think? Because his deck's functioning pretty well. Don't know what would draw you into it, though. Thunder Snapper and a ton of draw spells. <laughs> that wouldn't be very good, anyway. Another Queen of Ice. Play another Corridor Monitor. He's a mill deck. That's what's drawing him into it. This is my worst matchup. I thought you weren't supposed to exist after the update. Sick. Let's go. I can go wide. Just don't bounce my improbable alliance. Well, if he just plays a Queen of Ice, it's going to be awkward. Sure. No secret keepers so far. That's what I'm most worried about. Hello. Yeah, I'll just loot now. Don't want to discard either of these. Mountain's easy. Cool. Um, in case I draw an island, I'll keep this in hand. Or just to keep Covetous Urge. In case I draw something good. Man, three or more islands is such a tall ask. Hypnotic Spray. Ooh, got he. Got him. Loot. Yes. You heeded my prayers, deck. Let's go. Beat the mill deck. <laughs> the mill deck that played one mill spell. Cause that's crazy. Wow. Wowie wow wow. Wow, Admiral Wowington reporting for duty. Uh, if I can get a land with this, I can go turn two this, turn three, egg, cauldron. And then I'm just kind of doing it. Keep. I'm on the draw a lot, though. It's kind of worrying. No turn one play. That's all I need to see. Land witching well. Yeah, seems good. Because when I play egg, I can leave the blue open for the other witching well. This is like almost identical to my other opening. Hello. Still go Alliance. I'll have a blocker form next turn. Could be greedy, but I feel like they just have a trick to get through monitor anyway. Like another Rimrock Knight or something. No plays. Let's go. It's all removal, son. Should have played this first. Oh well. I got excited. I'm sorry. I'll just think I drew it, no big deal. I really want to hit a land drop, so I'll play it over the cauldron. Arcanist Owl, I definitely would have scried at the bottom at this point. Both those are good. Haggling the Owl will be pretty good. That's it, right? Yeah, haggle. Dude, shock my 1-1, one, one, I dare you. Okay. Bummer. <laughs> it's kind of scary. What is this, constructed? Am I right? Yeah, bro. All day. All day. Trample. Yikes. Big yikes for me, dog. Uh, maybe I should have put... Yeah, I should have haggled on top. So then I could play him, too. Oh, no. So, island? I'll just sack a witching well on their turn, I guess. Next turn I could haggle into a land and play Witching Well. Oh, it just seems so bad though. I should have put him on top. I'm a fool. In that case... I almost just want to leave up Cauldron. Because then if Rimrock Knight's all he has... Do you have double barge in? Is that what's happening? Okay, that's what I was worried about. But if you have three, like you're opening, oh, okay. Yeah, that's a smart move. Um, If I don't hit a land off of this, I'm kind of screwed. So. It's just Witching Wall now, I guess. If he has a way to give it trample, we're kind of screwed, but. 
Okay, here we go. No biggie. Let's play an island in case we draw another one next turn for the owl. I would like to sack this for life rather than mana if I can. When do we equip? Wow. And that equips for one. Bone Crusher Giant, man. That's brutal. All right. Facing our nemesis. The red aggro deck, which was on the play. Fair enough. That's an opt. Okay. So I could go... No. You play the owl. Ah, oh, but the life from that. Okay, let's go opt. That's fine, but not good enough. Okay, <laughs> motor bugged anyway. Um, yeah, in that case, I just, well, I can corridor monitor. No, that's not good enough. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just switch him well again. Hmm. Another red cap. Give a haste. I mean, if that's his best play, that's not super scary. Unfortunate, yes, but not terrible. Why wouldn't let me change my mana? Okay, two more lands. Sure. Definitely blocking you. I can take two from the other one. Past the end of the turn. He's stuck on that mana. Cool. So do I just play Owl and Merchant? It's our biggest blocker. Whiffed. That sucks. Um, okay. In that case, Corridor Monitor. Whoops. Could have attacked for one. Whatever. I always forget that's a thing. I always think it's only artifacts. There he is! Where were you? Because I'm thinking he's gonna giant. Oh, okay. Wow. Rimrock Knight? He still dies? If he pumps him too much, I'll just die anyway. Removal spell would be awkward. <sighs> Do I damage to those two first? Yeah, barge in you. Are you kidding me? Four barge ins? <laughs> uh, I, what? Okay, sure. Sure, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. One red source. Let's go. I'm gonna draw again. That's scary. I have two improbable alliances, multiple draw steps to hit a red source. Golden egg as well, if I really need it. Even if I just play this, play this. After playing that, draw the red source, play this, next turn throw a possibility. That's like fine, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so he molded once. He's a red deck. Well, at least there's a high likelihood of that getting us something back. Come on, mountain, let's go! That's another Raging Red Cap. Mountain. Alliance. Witching Well. Fairy Vandal's good, Trebuchet's bad. Sick. Okay. Ah. 
I hate you. Um, I guess I could discard Moonlit Scavengers and Thrill. And then Mystic Sanctuary back to Thrill. Seems about right. If he has another one, I'll just play Fairy Vandal. <laughs> Otherwise, I might just sack the egg for life. There's no effects. Okay. That's scary. That's just Fairy Vandal. Sanctuary back. Thrill of Possibility. So he can't do anything stupid in response. Well... Nah, I can wait till his turn. Well, I guess if I draw one mana play... I have more ops than anything? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that in case I need to dig or something. Okay. That solves that mystery. Don't think he's blocking. Too dangerous. Also, I can race. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Draws a ginger brute. Sure. Team Mountain. He'll get him soon enough, but I have chump blocks for days. As long as we don't see four barge ins, we have hope. <laughs> sure. It's gonna cost you a mana. Lost Legion. Okay. Don't do me like that. Two to the bottom. Nice. Whoa, 30 cards still. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's playing 42 cards. Uh, no blocks. I can take two damage from you. Hello. I think I thrill first. Well, and or graveyard. Do you think it's a land? I feel like it's a land. Right? I guess it's a combat trick, it's nice to get out of the way now. No, let's throw a possibility first. I would like to save this to do it on my opponent's turn. But I also just need cards. Arcanist Owl, good draw. That's a blocker. Island. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this to steal from his graveyard. I feel like he has nothing in hand. Artifact or enchantment. What do I want? Another witching well, maybe? Corridor monitor, sure. Oh, Mad Raider's in the bottom. No! How will I ever win this game? <laughs> I have a lot of flyers. That's probably how I win it. Barrow Witches. Okay. So we can get back a knight. It's pretty decent. I could covet his urge it though, because he won't be able to play it. I'd probably just play him if I were him. Most likely. Menace. Didn't have adamant. Oh, he, went, he had one of those two. So it would have been nice to have, I guess. Or you could just try to kill me, Ginger Brute. Sure. Sure. Uh. Let's play a mountain. Let's loot. Four, five, six. Nope, I have more ops. Leave up the blue source. Discard the blue source. 
Well, I guess I'll leave him back. That's eight. He has menace. So I need two for him. He can block there. One can block there. He probably won't even attack. So we need one, two, three. Uh, I don't think it really matters. So what if instead of like that, I attack like that? That's seven. Put him down to 12. It's not gonna be two turn clock anyway. A lot of math. I feel like I have an inevitability. So if I just survive. Okay, cool. Just don't draw something amazing. Spin Swordmaster was pretty good. Pretty freaking good. Even Crystal Slipper would be kind of rough. Because I'll leave him back. His attacks aren't great. Um, some removal for Sir Kara would be nice. You know, just a thought. No! It's exactly what he needed to not have happen. Oh, he just goofed super hard. Oh, you can equip it to the Paladin, sure, sure. I was thinking equip it to Gingerbrute and attack and I'm dead next turn. So he's a five, four. Yep, gotta keep my life total high. I can get him back with Covetous Urge, I guess, but... <laughs> I get to adamant him, though, so that's neat. Okay, um, I'm thinking I go... Island. Man, that's brutal. So I need some blockers. So maybe I just attack with him. Corridor monitor. Leave up golden egg. That feels so bad though. No. Let's loot once. Come on, I just need one like cost efficient draw spell. Sure. Cover surge, I don't think will ever be good enough. Well, I gotta have the egg held up, I guess. So he equips there for three, pings me for one. Go to four. So maybe I can attack with these two and then play quarter monitor on tap him. I still have four blockers. Doesn't have anything that tramples. Yeah, I just put him dead next turn. I can trade off my whole board. Would it even be better just to sack the egg then? He pings one down, attaches the ginger brew, that's three. This plays around removal better, I guess. No, I think I just sacked the egg. Yeah, yeah, I think that's better. He has to draw a removal spell, and then still that shouldn't be enough. Which is cottage sick. He's not a flying blocker. Wow, this was a close one. It's because I put Mad Radder in the bottom. If I had him, this would be so easy. Actually, not really. Because he does a lot of unblockable damage. Okay, so now he's pinging me, right? So now these guys block for 
two damage instead of that one doing something. Reeve Soul. Killing the Arcanist Owl won't be enough. Killing a Blacker won't be enough. We did it. Sick. Ooh. Didn't see that coming, did we? It's a pretty neat move. Seems like the play. So he goes up to 10. I still have lethal. 8. If I leave one fairy alive. Okay, let's see if I can do that. Oh, he has Ginger Brute Sack as well. So that's a problem. In that case, you gain 4 plus 3. No, I have to block. I just have to. Sir Kara's damage I can't prevent anyway. Man, if I had run away together, that would be such a blowout. That was a smart move. I often forget that he gets to be sacked for food. So he's at 13, effectively. Gets to Reeve Soul the Owl as well. Yeah, things are looking rough now. Another mountain! What the heck is going on? Okay, okay, it's fine. Um. So, five, six, seven, eight mana. Nine effectively. So, that costs five. I have four mana left over. I wish I could trigger it on his turn. Him having lifeline consistently is a problem. Definitely watching well. Scry 2, see what we got. Opt and a Henge Walker. I don't think Henge Walker is good enough. Opt will be good in a few turns from now. Blue, 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 red. Leaves me with 3 mana. That's six. So might as well just loot. No. No. I will. Blue, 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 red. This means I don't get to proc on his turn as well. That's what I'm trying to balance. The one mana draw spells on my turn and the two mana on his turn. There we go. Okay. That makes it a little more exciting. So now I still get to hit for six and have two blockers. And Wishful Merfolk trades with Swordmaster. And then Searing Barrage cleans up Sir Kara problems. See, I remembered that it did the thing now, guys. You proud of me? Man, this is brutal. One, two, three damage. Are you kidding me? Don't see it, don't see it, don't see it, don't see it. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it was a good hand. Yeah, sometimes you just can't win them all. And if I could have just drawn my draw ones and draw twos in the right order... That would have been way better. Oh well. I guess I got lucky he didn't draw any trample tricks or anything like that. So it can't be, you know, all whiny, but still. It's just sad. I do want a mountain. Land drops are important right now. That's a plains, that's a ginger brute. Okay, my deck doesn't have a lot of removal. See if I can trick him. Well, can't trick around that. Oh man, <laughs> playing against these 
arena only decks is so brutal. Can I draw blue stores? Yes, I would like a land. Probably is trapped in the tower. I feel like I just attack anyway. Throw possibility. That's something. But not good enough right now, though. I just need interaction real bad. And I'm stacking one of these anyway. I'm 90% sure he's going to have removal anyway. Uh, plus, I'll want to wait till he can grow, till he doesn't have to trade, so. Path lighter. Okay. Now he has to pay one. I guess out muscle could do a thing. Not really. There it is. I don't have enough life gain. Can I take five here? Let's see what I draw first. Mad Ratter, Golden Egg. Okay, there's hope. So none of my dudes have haste. Totally as a carver. Yeah, that's why he doesn't use it on the ginger brute. I should lose anyway. Oh. Okay, now I have a reach dude to block him, I guess. Uh, so Mad Rider doesn't even help a ton right now. Golden Egg. Trebuchet so I can block the path lighter. Come on, man. <laughs> Let my deck play. I swear, if he has last kiss to exile this, I'm gonna cry. That'd be so mean. Yep, I have another one, I dare you. Okay, no tricks. That's something. Acolyte's also something. Probable Alliance. If I play Mad Ratter, what happens? Having more blockers isn't the difficult part right now. Why does he have a counter? Oh, the path later. Yeah, I just have to draw to my removal for Ginger Brute. Which I have a couple. Two scavengers, scorching, whatever. Man, Reeve Soul would have been good, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's one. Okay, cool. That's something. He can still equip it if he has another mana next turn. Play and equip, which would be kind of rough. And he has a carver. So, what do we do here? Mad Ratter and three mana doesn't really do anything. Scavengers and one mana doesn't really do anything. It's five mana total. I need two more mana for him to be a good play. If only you were the dude who drew me a card, that would have been sick. So I guess I could play a Henge Walker and sack the egg. No, I just have to do this. Oh no, I'm dead on board. Yeah, 
Because if I bounce him, he just plays him with haste, makes him unblockable. I can only block two creatures. Well, no, I guess he blocks one of the bigger dudes. Take three. Or he just equips it to the path lighter. This is rough. Yeah, I think I just have to draw towards removal. Yep, if he has any sort of removal or pump spell, I lose. Golden Egg might be able to buy me one more turn. Yeah, I'm thinking of playing around. Yeah, because if he just plays him in attacks, I only have two blockers. He gets through anyway. There's just really no good way for me to do this. Maybe should have left up a red. There's no shock in this format, though. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> it's encouraging, I guess. <clears throat> That's brutal. Removal? No. Didn't even ping him. That's a mountain. Unexplained vision. And I have a golden egg to crack. Yeah, this is the deepest I can get into my deck. I have another blocker. Ooh. Searing Brush and Scolding Cauldron. That was actually not good right now. Which one on top? Now I can play Golden Egg. It's not worth it though, I have to sack it for life. But next turn. Yeah, okay. Create a 1-1. One, one. Now a chump block's gonna have to happen. Six mana. Yep. Tag with everyone seems legit. Gain some life. <laughs> Goodness, this is brutal. Go to one. Another path lighter. Yikes. Ping him. I remembered. Get out of here. Let's go. Okay, so clearly you're playing a mountain. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, right? So I think I have to play the egg. Can I play the mad rider on the egg? And then two and then three. No, I can't. That sucks. So let's play the egg. That's one, two, three, four, six, seven mana, right? Okay. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna play Hengewalker. I think I like Searing Barrage, Hold Up Cauldron. Plays around more pump spells. Yeah, that's what I gotta do, I think. If he has another Ginger Boot, I'm screwed too. But yeah, I didn't want to play Hengewalker and Cauldron to kill the Ginger Boot, because if he draws another one, I'm just dead. This at least leaves me open to something. These don't have a pump spell. Cool. 
hand block there. And I can actually double block here. And then sack the egg. Make sure I ping them as well. Cool. <laughs> Please tell me I can stabilize. That'd be so sick. Um, nothing to draw me cards with the Mad Rider. Six, seven, oh wait. So that's an island. Oh wait, I need something to respond to the Halberd too though. So that'll be just enough. One, two, three, four. Cauldron. Leave it up. I guess I tap you. Get another blocker. Pass the turn. This way I can kill any other creatures he attaches it to. Uh, Acolyte, I'll need to get chump blockers for both Mad Ratter and Improbable Alliance. That's guaranteed now. Oh my gosh, what a game. <laughs> he has seven lands. He's finally flooding out a little. Let's go, bro. No removal. Prized griffin. That's really scary. Oh no. Well, you have chump blockers. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do we be many efficient and kill the pathlighter right now? Kill you in response. Don't want it to be a big boy. Ping him. Let's go. Merchant. Heck yeah, man. Um, yeah, I can haggle. I've been known to haggle time to time. Ooh. Alliance. Merchant. Leave the hinge walker in my hand. Pass the turn. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Equip it to the griffin. Attack. If he has removal from my 1-1. One, one. No, I have two dudes who can block. So that's encouraging. Pass to attackers. Pass to blockers. Block. Cool. Ping you for one. Eventually I can go wide enough that I can alpha probably, so... Discard an island. Um, do I want any of his stuff? I can't cast it anyway. Cool. We did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sick. Thierry time. Hope it's Thierry on re. Most very looks kind of like him, but dude, that last game, I'm like shaking. Whew. That was intense. Can't believe we turned that around. Uh, cool. Keep it. I guess I got kind of lucky he didn't draw. I don't know how many tricks he had in his deck, but like, the fact he just didn't draw him by that point, that's, that's pretty great. Covetous Urge I have not been impressed with, by the way. Just because there's so many aggressive decks, I guess. Um... At this point, I almost think I just want raw cards, so I'll play Golden Egg. But in case I hit a payoff, this is more mana efficient though. Decisions already, guys. Uh, you know, I'll play Witching Well. See if I can hit a payoff. Another Witching Well. Is that good enough to keep? Do I want another mountain either? I don't think so. Maybe I don't mind drawing a mountain. Yeah, I think Witching Well's good. Yeah, this is good actually. Cool. That's why I can play the well and then Golden Egg. If he doesn't do anything I'm super scared of. Like that. Play nothing. Dang it. Foiled again. I'll play an island. 
Play a golden egg. Scry something up with the witching well. Mystic Sanctuary. Merchant of the Vale. You're not good yet. Uh, yeah, I guess you're good. I could play Covetous Surge next turn and then get it back. And it's also a land drop to get me to Scavengers. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, he's just going full aggro. Once I get him down, I think I'll be good. So maybe instead, I just sack you and kill one of them. You get Silver Frame Squire ready. Stuck on two mana. Definitely playing an island. He's two turns away. Yeah, so I think I just... Covet a Surge and then bring him back. Yeah. Yeah. Guess I just kill Flutter Fox. Neat! Make sure he has no combat tricks or anything. good a little bit ago so would I rather sack you for life I could just play you now and then play a mountain does he have trapped in a tower at least a triggered ability not activated so that's fine all right let's hope this pulls through just don't draw removal one time one time. Tieri time. Trying to win on two lands. No. No. Don't. Okay. I was going to say, don't even. Blue, 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 red. Nope. Haggle's on the bottom. Red, red. Let's see if I can hit a different land drop. If not, I will do it so I can sack the egg. Ooh, hello. Play that for no value, feels bad, but that's fine. Uh, okay, whatever. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, no blocks. Silver Flame Squire would kill me. I'm going to do this. Okay. We should stabilize from here, though. I have Vandal and Witching Well. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll wait and do it on his turn, so then we don't get tapped down again. It is an instant, but whatever. Unfortunately, don't get to eat him. They just bounce off each other. If he has a pump spell, I guess I could just play trebu Trebuchet next turn. Ooh, sick. It's fine. Oh, doesn't kill him. Nice. Archon. Yikes. Okay, so here we go. Let's get an opt. Like, cover surge, I just don't know what I'm getting with it, you know? I never wanted to cast it. It's not good enough. It's definitely not good enough. Let's play another island. Just scavengers the Archon. Whoops, that didn't work. <laughs> I forgot about that. Four, five, six, seven mana. Forgot I sacked the egg. Bummer. That's another Archon. It's yikes for me, dog. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just go for it now. I'm just going to play Trebuchet anyway. Oh, and you don't have to pick before you do it. That's fun. What could you do for one mana? Hmm. 
Wow. He's gonna have lethal. Trapped in a tower. Oh, enchant creature without flying. Right. Well, that's awkward now. That's why I didn't do it. Um. Okay, good thing I took it though. Because otherwise I'd be dead. Because he could play it on my trebuchet. That's what I was thinking. Oh, still dead? Still dead. Well, that bites. Why does my deck just have no removal? <laughs> if you would have done what I thought you did, I would have survived. Ah, oh, come on, man. So I guess if I took... If I took Shepherd of the Flock, Bouncing a Dude wouldn't do anything for me either. So I was just dead no matter what, right? Ah, oh, come on, man. That's brutal. Okay, well, that's a bummer. So yeah, even when we get the deck super good, I mean, obviously we would need... If I could have had just like one or two Red Cat Melee or Scorching Dragonfire, I think the deck would have been way better. We just had a problem stabilizing, as the deck will always have. But even when the deck comes together, it's not like incredible. It's good inevitability, but yeah, just not amazing. Black Green always does me better. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you did done different. Any misplays I had, I'm sure there were several. Like playing that Scavengers. Um, but... Either way, see you next video and hope you enjoyed.